What's going on beer lovers and thank you for joining me on another review on good quality craft beer. I am Charles from Beer Republic and today's brew hails from San Jose, California and this is Ass Kisser Double IPA coming in at a 7.7 .7 ABV and this is from Ass Kisser Brewing again in San Jose, California. Um, so uh, it has a little uh, saying here on the front. It says a great drink on the special ass kissing days perfect for the boss so we all know what that means and we've all done it before so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and open up this bad boy so I can let you know how it looks how it smells how it tastes if it's a yay or nay on the ass kisser double IPA Now look at that there, isn't that a beautiful sight? As far as the uh, color goes, I'd say it's a very uh, hazy, kind of like a burnt orange, and it has about two fingers of a uh, nice uh, frothy head. As far as the uh, lacing goes, there's actually very, very to none of lacing, very minimal to none of lacing, as you can see right there. Um, it has a lot of carbonation. I can see the bubbles coming down there, uh, going up from the bottom. Um, it's a kind of cloudy-ish color. Uh, overall, it's a nice, nice looking, uh, nice looking beer there. Now, as far as the smell goes, hmm, this is actually very interesting. Uh, for a double IPA, I would, I would think that I would smell a lot of hops coming through, but it's actually sweet and very citrusy. There's really no hops to it whatsoever. I can definitely smell again grapefruit, some uh, peach in there, some mango, you know, some lemon zest, some orange zest in there. I can definitely smell the sweet, uh, the sweet malts there in the back. But it has a very interesting smell for a double IPA. Again, you usually with uh, double IPAs you get that uh, that strong hops right at the front, but not in this one. Well, uh, let's see what it tastes like. Salute. Hmm. Again, it's uh, it's very light. It's very sweet for again for a double IPA. Um, the uh, it goes down very smooth. It goes down very uh, very well. There's no uh, again. There's no hops. There's no kicks to to the front. But it does leave a kind of a weird, uh, kind of harder explain aftertaste, like a hop aftertaste. I can definitely taste the sweaty uh, bready malts in there. Again, I can taste the uh, lemon zest, the uh, orange zest. It's it's most it's more zesty than it is uh, a double uh, double your typical double IPA. Um, yeah, kind of you know what it, it leaves kind of uh, like a weird medicine aftertaste. Now that I'm tasting, it doesn't dry the palate at all. But it again, let me try it one more time. Yeah, it just seems that the taste is changing. Wow, it's that's very interesting. Um, again, it's it's very unexpected for a double IPA. Um, I mean, it's 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 uh, it goes down again. It goes down smooth, um, but uh, it's just the the aftertaste. It's just hard to explain. Kind of like medicine-y type. But uh, overall, I personally, as far as the uh, the yay or nay, I give this a C. To be honest. Uh, this beer did not really impress me as far as the the, the smell and the tastes that came from it. Um, I mean, it, it looks when I poured it in, it looked very good, and it looked like the type of IPA that would have all those nice, balanced, uh, uh, hoppy, piney um, notes in there with the uh, with the uh, citrus. But it, it just seems like uh, the zestiness takes over anything else. Um, again, there's no hop to it, as you would think, in a double IPA. So I personally give this a C. Um, I personally don't think that it was a very well balanced beer. But uh, check them out. Uh, this is again Ass Kisser Double IPA. They're out of San Jose, California. Um, that concludes our episode for today. 
Again, thank you for joining me on another review on good quality craft beer. Thank you for stopping by and you stay classy.